Films and music. Have you seen Hardcore Logo? Hardcore Logo? It's one of the best Canadian films of all time. It stars our next guest, Hugh Dillon. Uh, no surprise, no secret, I'm a big fan of Hugh. Uh, from his days in one of Canada's finest rock and roll bands, uh, I still think of them as a punk rock band, The Headstones, to his brand new television series called Durham County. Hugh's going to join us in just a second, but first, here's his bio. singer for the Kingston-based band, The Headstones. They were one hard-ass working group, toured the whole country, earned a bunch of fans and lots of notoriety. Dylan was known for spitting at audiences, chucking cigarette butts into the crowd, and unleashing his, quote, acidic tongue at them. Just to chalk it up to, you know, rock and roll, the punk rock lifestyle. But it's that energy, that edge, that got noticed. Next thing you know, Dylan was on the big screen, landed his first movie role in Bruce McDonald's picture, Dance Me Outside then following it up with Hardcore Logo, a critically acclaimed mockumentary following the reunion tour of a once popular punk band. You see, I was just lying there, because I saw you touch a f***ing ponytail, you stupid f***ing That was very nice. Dylan's performance in that picture was so good, he caught the eye of Quentin Tarantino. Tarantino met with Dylan and distributed Hardcore Logo in America. Since then, he has been in the award-winning movie Down to the Bone, Assault on Precinct 13 with Ethan Hawke, and of course, the Trailer Park Boys, the movie. Lucy, get the f over here. I want my six grand. I want the f***ing money for the tits, Lucy. That performance got him a Genie nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Now he's got himself his own series. It's called Durham County. Hugh plays a homicide detective who moves his family to the suburbs, only to discover it's not the idyllic little community he expected. Here's a clip. Remember that, that Mikey? bullshit. Oh, hey. That is bullshit. I it was like it. that. I admired it, man. You know? I figured that's why you became a cop. Gave you carte blanche when the monster comes out, huh? Yeah, so I got a license to blow your Head off. There you go. There's my boy. That's who I'm talking about, huh? Where's he? Shut up, you delusional f You killed Natalie Lacroix. Oh, you mother man. You were f***ing Natalie Lacroix. There you go. The man's work, and here he is, Mr. Hugh Dillon. Nice to see you. How are you? So, you, uh, the reviews came out for your TV show, Durham County, and they're positive, man. Really yes, positive. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's fantastic. Were you worried? Were you nervous? No. It's, uh, I knew going into it, I mean, this whole production um, is called Back Alley Films with um, Janice Lundman and, and uh, Adrian Mitchell. And they just are a powerhouse. You know, there's the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Mm -hmm. There's four women who are so strong, <laughs> and they just force you to tell the truth. You know what I mean? Like, like uh, you know, they just took over everything. They're just so honest. They've got a killer story. They had the killer writer, writer um, uh, Laurie Finstead. And it was just, I knew this was a great story. And I thought, um, I didn't think I'd get it. You know? Well, I bumped into you in a computer store in LA last summer, mm -hmm. and you told me that, hey, you're going to do this, this yeah. show. Yeah. Uh, I think, was it just the pilot stage by that point? It had just, I think I had just got it. You just got it. Yeah. And, and, and so tell how you, how you got it, the process. The, you know, it's all about, for me, it's all about, you know, I had to kind of take risks and get out of my comfort zone with my, my real life and with this part. And with that, it was if I hadn't moved to L.A., I wouldn't have got this gig because there was a casting director in Los Angeles who uh, was up for a couple other things. And she thought, there's this Canadian production. You'd be great for it as a cop. You know, and at first they were looking at me for the bad guy. And her name's Wendy O'Brien. Mm -hmm. And she just, you know, um, got me in touch with, with Adrian and Janice from Back Alley. And they, we just hit it off. You know, they forced me to talk about things that, it's easy to keep the mask up in the fronts, but they're like my sisters. Both my sisters are, are, are teachers, now they're superintendents, and they were always able to get me to tell the truth, and which I often didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. But um, I've been in some of those interviews when you didn't want to tell the truth. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and they just were able to make me focus and, this was a huge responsibility, and I had to go places, you know, like, like Holly Dale, who's fantastic, the, the, um, the other director. You know, she had a code when, when it was time for me to do emotional things, which, which I, I realized later was, oh, you want me to cry? 
<laughs> no, it's an emotional thank you. Okay. But they make you tap it, you know, and, and we'd go for long walks and talk about our lives. And so, I, you know, they, they got to understand some of the tragedy in my life and what propelled me as a person. And then the sneaky people that they are could use it on the day to, to get me to, to act properly. I want to know how hard, like, you act know, properly. When you, when you go from being a boy to a man and you go through the life, you, you know, you did, and then to... But so much of what you were able to do on stage was, I'm Hugh Dillon, f you, right? Yeah. You had this thing. And yeah. then to go and actually have to be vulnerable and have to do all of that stuff, yeah. was that hard for you to do? No, because I had started out in the, you know, the entertainment and in music, you know, when I was young. And so there is that kind of false sense of bravado that if you get enough... Um, you know, time behind it, that becomes kind of, it's a, it's a, it's a tough mask to hold up, you know, because really, like I said, my sisters and my, my wife Midori and people who knew me knew there's a, there's, a, you know, I'm not just a singer in a band, you know, and there was so much, there's so many other things that, that people never see, you know, like the, you know, drugs and alcohol and things like that, that it's not until you're willing to confront those kind of things and realize that, you know, it humbles you. And I think coming through that, I was able to use all of that. Mm -hmm. Acting, and that's really what 